Welcome to our Yellowfin video on report security. Once you have created a report and a chart, you need to save the report. So you simply go to report and save. Now it's here, as you know, that you can name your report and provide a description. You then have to save your report to a specific location. So you do this using your categories and subcategories. This is one method of security that you can use because the security for these categories is specific to users. So certain users could see the camp folder, but maybe not the athletes. Now there is additional security that you can do here at the report level though. The first area is the report access. As a default, all your reports will be displayed as public, which means that depending on the content category that you choose, anyone who has permission to see my camp folder will be able to see this new report. You can toggle this though to private. This means that only the writer of the report will have permission to see this and that writer can share it with specific people, but not everybody who has access to this content category will get it. There are even more options if you go through the rest of the menu of the save menu here. So for example, you might want to decide whether this report is allowed to be visible on the browse page or whether this report is allowed to be put onto a dashboard, simply toggling them on or off you can also define the refresh settings of this, although it's not really a security in need. Distribution security, however, this is another area that you might want to adjust. So again, by default, your subscribe and broadcast options are probably turned on. If you wanted to say that, you know, no one was allowed to subscribe or broadcast to this report, you simply can toggle them off. Again, also with email, if it was quite confidential information, you want to ensure that it doesn't leave Yellowfin, simply toggle this one off as well, and then no one will be allowed to email this out. If you wanted to say that, yes, they can email it, but they can only email it to specific validated users or perhaps only users of Yellowfin rather than an unsecure source, you can also control those settings from here. The last option here is the private report security. So because I've changed this to be a private report, this is where I can define who can see it. It automatically puts me in there as the owner. And if I want to, I can add in someone else to be able to read or edit this report. So you're simply allowing permissions for these people to be able to see it. Once you've made all the appropriate settings, simply press activate. And then your report security will be updated. Thanks for watching and for more helpful tips, please see our other videos.